What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime and welcome back to another video. So Jojo. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Part 4. This week's episode was probably one of the best episodes that we have had in quite some time. At least in my personal opinion. Because this episode, when it came down to the execution, no pun intended, it was just very, very good. So we open up with this episode with Rohan, Koichi, and Rami. Now, uh, Rohan and Koichi are seeing if they can get any sort of leads from Rami. You know, they're basically getting another person's perspective on the scrapbook that they have filled with uh, pictures of most likely suspects when it comes to, you know, who is Kira. Now, Rami ends up pointing out that... There is a little boy that seems like he is snooping about, and what piques her interest about this little boy is that apparently he has the same last name as another individual in the picture, which happens to be Kira. And this is the part of the episode where we really see the episode start to really go into gear because during this scene Kira's father is actually looking down on Remy, uh, Rohan, and Koichi and seeing that they are actually about to you know figure out who Kira is it seems like they have picked up a lead so we have it to where Kira's father is going all the way back to you know Kira's house where he's located at right now to try to warn him that his identity could be found out. So then we go to the bath scene. Apparently we see it that, you know, uh, Kira's uh, father ends up actually getting to the house uh, quickly than expected. However, uh, Kira is confronted to the wife that uh, he um, is currently living with and she looks like she's about to find out something because Kira is acting a little bit suspicious however Kira plays it off and we soon find out that apparently Kira killed Hayato his body his corpse is in the closet that you know the wife almost opened up to at the worst possible moment of time and that would have led to her actually finding out that you know Kira is in fact a murderer and an impersonator of her husband but when I saw this when I previously did my live stream of this episode I was like no way he, he didn't kill him did he he didn't kill Hayato right because that would mean that he will be easily found out. But then again, this is JoJo and things, how they play out in JoJo, you know, it's like you can never really predict as to what's gonna go on because the show is so bizarre that it actually comes up with really good reasons on how to avoid certain, you know, circumstances when it comes to the antagonist. And that is what I love. And we actually figure out that after the wife ends up leaving the scene with Hayato's dead corpse in the, the closet, mind you, like, Kira has no idea what to do. And also, Kira's father tells Kira that, hey, you have this guy named Rohan who is about to find out who exactly you are. Fair warning, you know, Hayato could be a threat. Hayato could be a threat if uh, they were to ever find him. And this is where we see, you know, Kira, you know, start to freak out. <laughs> Kira is freaking out, biting his nails and shit. And then, and then we have it to where the arrow that the father of Kira has ends up lodging itself directly into his arm. Now, the father didn't do anything to him at all. Actually, the arrow itself ended up piercing itself into Kira's arm, almost like it had a mind of its own, and ended up traveling up to his neck and pierced him there, giving him another ability to his stand that he already has. And Kira's had two abilities, as we know. Now, from this episode, it is confirmed that he has three abilities regarding his stand. And after seeing this, I was just like, 
No, no way. No, nah, because now it almost seems as though that Kira is impossible to beat at this point because it almost seems like he has a full arsenal up his sleeve to the point where he has literally become immortal and at the same time, it seems as though, you know, he cannot be found out because what we see in this episode, how exactly his ability plays out is pretty ridiculous and with this new ability he has become so prideful now because now it almost seems as though no one can stop him and he even it, it, he goes into his final form that, that's what everyone was saying in the live stream that i hosted earlier kira goes into his final form as he is brushing his hair back and basically with a new different hairstyle and this basically symbolizes you know a fresh start for some people you know when it comes to people in Japan usually a haircut would result in a fresh start for an individual so technically by you know pushing the hair back and giving Kira himself a new look this gives him a fresh start to you know start off his you know comfy life I guess you can you can say because it's gotten to the point where he really thinks as though no one can stop him at this point now that uh, Killer Queen has gotten a third ability and this ability what it's able to do is that well first let's talk about you know what happened basically time resets itself and Hayato is back alive however Killer Queen's uh, stand uh, the new ability that Kira acquired he is able to plant a bomb with inside Hayato and every time that someone asks uh, Hayato about Kira or if Hayato speaks um, himself uh, to others about Kira, the bomb will go off like that, killing either the individual or killing Hayato, and then time will reset an hour back to the point where, you know, the day will go on just as it did uh, before the events ended up leading up to that given point in time. And we see Kira's new ability being used on Rohan as when Hayato eventually comes into confrontation with Rohan, Rohan then uses his stand on Hayato and begins to, you know, slowly look into him, you know, looking at his experiences that he has had with other individuals, including Kira. And then this is where everything starts to get weird because he is looking at um, Hayato's experiences and basically what he sees within Hayato is like these events that uh, are like almost like a premonition of what is about to play out like this guy who ended up uh, sneezing um, that's what it said in one of the messages that uh, Hayato's body was uh, telling Kira and then directly after Rohan read that uh, Rohan then looked over to the side of him and he saw a man sneezing and you have these all uh, all these events that were in Hayato's uh, mind uh, playing out actually played out in real life like lightning uh, girls laughing and everything like that and then we had it to where he read Rohan Kishibe was killed after this and Rohan's just like what the fuck and then BAM freaking Rohan gets decimated decimated like his whole back just like rips open like there's a giant hole in it and he was supposed to meet up with Koichi and Josuke at this specific location in time to basically tell them who, who exactly uh, Kira could possibly be you know helping them get a lead on the Kira case and oh wow that sounds like Death Note the Kira case and anyway <laughs> anyway um and then you know before he can even call out to Koichi or Josuke and basically tell them you know that uh kira is here you know kira we, i finally know who kira is he is the son of this individual right here and then he ends up dying he fr just freaking explodes and it, it was a sad moment for me in the live stream because i was like what what no what i didn't want to believe it i didn't want to believe it when hayato ended up dying and i didn't want to believe it when rohan ended up dying for the very first time but we then see that you know the time loop ends up playing in effect right after Rohan explodes 
and we see that the day reverts back to one hour and this is where uh, Hayato ends up waking up early in the morning and the day plays out as normally as it did before. But this, now that we have a stand that is literally called bites the dust like basically people do bite the dust they freaking just blow up and turn to dust <laughs> i mean it's crazy it, it really is crazy but you know now that we have this stand for kira it's almost as if you know he has become immortal like how exactly can you know josuke jotaro and the other cast of characters counteract against this and find this guy because it almost seems as it is impossible and also with this stand, how are they going to get the bomb outside of, you know, Hayato? In order to do this, they're going to need to, you know, um, uh, you know, kill Kira off in order to get that out of Hayato first off. However, at the same time, Hayato, you know, <laughs> it's very, very confusing because they can't really figure out you know who Kira is without Hayato because Hayato is you know the lead to the Kira case he, you know he is you know all the information and knowledge you need in order to you know um you know get the lead on Kira but the thing is is that Josuke Jotaro and the other cast of characters cannot go to Hayato and uh, because if they ended up talking about Kira, they will end up dying, or either Hayato will end up dying for Hayato telling them about Kira. So, there's like almost like no way that, you know, Kira can be found out. And also at the same time, given the fact that either the person ends up dying or either Hayato ends up dying and the time loop goes back in effect one hour every time something happens, this can be very traumatic for Hayato in general that like this is gonna give this kid PTSD I mean I'm just saying because Hayato he's self-aware of you know all this you know he is aware of the stuff that is going on and if if we have it to where he keeps on you know seeing these deaths play out or even you know being killed off you know a number of times kind of like ReZero or you know uh, Steins Gate you know if you want to make those kind of connections to the series like I mean, it's going to be very traumatic on you. There was just a lot of stuff that was going through my mind as I was watching throughout this episode. And I'm sorry if it is a long review. I'm very sorry on that. But there's just so much to talk about in this episode. And I talked a lot about it in my live stream live reaction for the most part. It's just I got a bunch of sort of connections from other uh, forms of literature. Like movies like Groundhog's Day or Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, all you need is... Uh, kill um, like those sort of series where you basically live die and repeat like that was the sort of vibe I was getting from this episode and then also you know uh, you know regarding anime out there like re zero where technically you have Subaru live dying and repeating you know it, it was just crazy it, it was crazy so I mean this episode was just, it was awesome. It was awesome. I mean, I cannot say enough that this was probably one of my favorite episodes of JoJo that we have had in a very, very long time, especially when it came down to the execution. I had the most fun with this episode, and I had over 75 people in my live stream. 75 for this episode. That is almost 100. That is almost 100. It was just, it was so fun reacting to this episode and talking to you all. So I really do think that I pretty much got my overall thoughts about this episode in that live stream and also in this review. Hopefully it wasn't too long, but I just had to talk more about it and basically analyze it to a certain degree and just give my overall thoughts. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this review nonetheless. Again, I'm sorry if this was too long, but again, I just wanted to give my overall thoughts out there. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like as it always helps out the channel. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on what you thought about this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4, Episode 35. And what are you looking forward to in the next episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Because 
I know that I'm very much going to be looking forward to, you know, what exactly is going to go on with Kira now that it almost seems as though he can't be find, uh, found out. I don't know exactly how the cast of characters are going to find out, um, you know, uh, Kira's location if they cannot even get help from Ayato uh, or Hayato, excuse me. So I don't know what's going to go on. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.